Hey there, and welcome to Dull Motion. Happy Pride Month, everyone! In this video, we're going to make Felicia's best friend and roommate, Lizzie Gray. A tall hamster with a strong personality who identifies herself as a transgender woman. All the Divas characters you see in the background are members of the LGBT community. For those who don't know what a Divas character is, there are animal characters from a web series called Divas. There is also a Divas wiki for all your Divas questions and info, like family trees and episode trivias. And for the biggest fans and crafters, I'm hosting a Divas collab on Patreon. You can find all the links in the description box. Well, great info, but let's finally begin and make Felicia's childhood friend, Lizzie Gray. If you saw the hamster figure in my previous repaint video, then you found the hint. This video will contain three hints. One for the next repaint video on YouTube, and two for the next exclusive video. So good luck finding the hints. For this custom, I decided to make a tall woman. So an obvious choice was to use a tall, made-to-move Barbie body. And for a head, I will be using this DC Superheroes Girls Wonder Woman. I do love this black hair, but I envision Lizzie to have red hair. So the hair has to go. To safely remove the Barbie head from the body without breaking the neck back, it's best to fill a mug with hot water and soak the doll's head in it. The hot water makes the final of the head soft and easy to remove. Now we can reach the neck opening and we can go in with tweezers and remove the remaining hair and glue. The human ears can also go to my ear collection. I can't wait to see what this jar will look like at the end of 2020. The only thing we have to do to prep this dull head is to remove the factory painted face with pure acetone. Lizzie will be in character with the age of 19, just like Felicia. Hamsters are plenty great at animals, but I still want to do some changes to her tall body to make it more realistic. Because, well, I do love the made to move Barbie bodies, but the feet? Um, not so much. Okay, these feet are a bit bigger than normal Barbie feet, but they're still way too small and super flimsy. So I'm going to replace them with bigger feet by taking them from this Monster High Jackson Jekyll body. I also envisioned Lizzie to have a flat chest. So I carefully sand down the plastic with my Dremel. You don't need to have breasts to be a real woman. Great, now that we have the legs in pieces, we can reconstruct them with a two-part epoxy glue. And let's close the chest and make some cute hamster ears. I first fill the chest holes with some tissue paper. And then I close the holes with some epoxy sculpt. The ears start out as two blobs. But with some tools and water, I shape them into animal ears. After a day, the epoxy sculpt is dry and hard and ready to be sanded down for a smoother transition. I like to start with a rougher sandpaper and switch it out with a softer texture. I sand down the chest, the leg connection, and 
I'm going to trim down the feet to a smaller foot size. Great, here we have the sand down body with our new feet. With my lino cutter, I make a hole in the lower back for our future tail. Lizzie is a golden hamster, and they have a cute white belly. After a lot of color matching, I was able to match the leg color with the rest of our body tone. She's also cutting pink hands and feet, just like hamsters. To prevent the paint from chipping off around our torso joint and neck, I'm going to cover all the painted areas with a layer of super glue. This will make the body shiny. But you can fix this with a layer of Mr. Super Clear. Back to our head. We trace the ears on our head for a reward guideline and take them off. For a fuller head, we're going to paint the sculpt red. Let it dry and give it another layer of tacky glue. This will prevent the paint from chipping off when rerouting. Now the hair is drying, let's work on our tail and ears. First we comb out brown tones of acrylic yarn. To prepare a hamster tail, we first cover a wire with bandage tape and foam clay. I colored the foam clay with pastel powders. When the foam clay is dry, I cover it with the combed out yarn. A small trim. And now you can glue it into the body with super glue. Hamsters do have a funny little tail. And now for the ears. I first paint them the right color, a flesh tone on the inside and brown on the outside, just like most golden hamsters. Cut the brown yarn in teeny tiny pieces. Cover the ears with fabric glue and dab on the flock. Brush off the redundant flock with an old toothbrush and the ears are done. Hmm, before we continue with our hat, you know what, let's work on our outfit. Uh, I don't really have many patterns for Barbie, so I bought this pattern on Etsy. In the end, I did alter the pattern a bit, for a better fit. But you can find a link to the shop in the info box. Okay, first we have the sweater, and then we have the dress. Some nail art for detail. Uh, they would be better in silver. Yeah, that's better. Lizzie has beautiful long legs, so a black legging will suit her great. I just sew a stretchy fabric around her legs. Turn it inside out and voila! Black doll leggings. Let's also give Lizzie a fitting necklace. In the Divas series, Lizzie is a big fan of Jolene Lapin, so she will probably have the same bag as her. So I'm going to make another one, but this time in black. Here we have the pieces. Oh, 
only some detail. And speaking of detail, she needs a button on her back. I first paint out the design on paper, cut it out, lay it on tape for a better hold and put one drop of resin on top of it. Lay it on a UV lamp for a few minutes and we have a button. Great, now you can dress Lizzie. For her shoes, I'll be giving her these canned sneakers. Okay, and now for the reroute. She's a tall character, so that means I can give her long, long hair. I first cut the hair in the right length. And now the reroute process can begin. I like to lay the hair wefts in front of me. And one by one pin them into the head with a reroute too. Which is a needle cut on an angle. After a full day of work, she has a full set of hair. And to keep them in place, I like to use a universal glue and a Q-tip to secure the hairs from the inside. Wait one day for the glue to dry. And now we can lay the hair a bit more flat with a boil wash. The only animal feature she is still missing is her hamster teeth. When the epoxy sculpt is dry, we can place her back on a body. With acrylic paint, I'm going to paint in a white nozzle. This will really bring out our hamster cheeks. I also paint in her lips and hamster nose before I seal it in with matte varnish to hide the paint strokes. After that, I give the spray of Mr. Super Clear so my pencils have a better grip. This makes it so much easier to sketch in a new face. I'm going to give her a strong eyeliner. When you're done with your sketch, you can fill it in with acrylic paint. She'll be getting two dark brown eyes. With teeny tiny under eyelashes. And now that I'm shading the eyes with pen pastels, let's answer the question of the day. When replacing a doll body, like from Monster High to a Obitsu body, what do you do with the old body? Do you keep the joints to create future articulation or something? To answer your question, yes, I keep the old bodies for future projects. For example, Candice's old hands are Eden's movable ears. <laughs> so, do you have a question of the day? Please leave your question in the comment section. And maybe I will answer it in the next repaint video. Back to the face up. In the end, I made our hamster nose a tone lighter. And I gave her a beauty mark above her eyebrow. When you're happy with your face up, seal everything in with a few layers of Mrs. Super Clear. Now we can place the ears back on our head with super glue. Some yarn to fill in the gaps, and she's done!
I really can't wait for her to be in the Diva series. I really think our best friend Felicia really needs someone to talk to after what happened in the forest with a certain boy. Speaking of the Diva series, like I already mentioned before, you can still enter for the first ever Divas collab on Patreon. Your doll will be featured in a video here on YouTube, so follow the link in the description box. Patreon and YouTube membership also have a new repaint video available, my mouse Divas doll version. Plus, the repaint video also contained the first ever Q&A face reveal. And if you're more into set making, there is also a mini making of video available on how I made the dust statues for the Diva series. Overall, if you like some extra doll motion content, you should really check out Patreon or YouTube membership. Both platforms have great introduction videos with information. You are never bound and you can quit your membership whenever you like. I would like to thank my Patreons of honor. Chelsea Panda Monkey, Art Weasel Customs, Erica Warren, Laura Oliver Hatfield, The Oreo Jedi, Scully Loves, Amy Minch, Audrey Chavez, Aries the Bolt, and everyone else. Thank you so much, everyone. You really make the videos on this channel possible. Love who you want to love and be who you want to be. Life is way too short to be someone you're not. So love and embrace yourself. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!